Well, hello my young wizards. Today, we are going to do an incredible trick with you. Our ordinary air will help us. So, look closely. How do you think? The bottle is empty? And take a closer look. At first glance, yes, empty. But in fact, it is filled with air. Did you know that air, depending on the temperature, can contract and expand? How? I'll show you now. So, first, take a balloon, blow up a few times to stretch it. It will help the balloon inflate with the hot air. Squishy, 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 squishy. Good. Now, we have in one container water with ice, cold, and hot water into the other container. Well, the water doesn't have to be boiling, just hot from the tap or you have it home. So, what we're gonna do now is place the opening of the balloon over the mouth of an empty pot. Done. Now, place the water bottle in the hot water and watch the balloon inflate. Wow! Now place the bottle in the cold water. Check out what happens to the balloon. We can see that warm air rises and cold air sinks. The reason is why the warm air is less dense and therefore it floats above the cold air. So you can ask why is the cold air denser than warm air? As warm air molecules move faster and further apart, so because of this, air expands and becomes less dense and you can see in the balloon. So the air expands and the balloon inflates. Then we still have the balloon quickly deflated when we place the bottle in the cold water, right? Which is like right now, it deflates. So the air molecules then cooled and contracted, took up less space and the balloon collapsed. And again, put it in warm and it inflates. So the beauty of this experiment is that you can do it over and over again, just add more tubes if all of them melted or heat up more warm water uh, when it cools down. By the way, even more cool experiments can be found on our channel with water. So join us, follow, and let's be friends. So see you next time.